Hello, this is Austin, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own C libraries that you can use in Lia, Lua. Lia? Lua. Um, for Linux, it would be in a data so file. For Windows, it's going to be a DLL file. Um, so this is just blank. There's nothing in this directory. So I'm going to start off by making uh, mylib.c file. Boom. Um, I'm going to include. Oh, um, then before I do that, this is the directory right here. Um, we're going to need to um, take some Lua uh, header files and bring them into the project. So this is my, uh, my binary path for my Lua. I'm going to paste it in the project here. And then this is um, the lib file we'll need to compile. Boom. And I might as well, I'm going to save this blank. Might as well also make a make file. And then build requires my lib dot c uh, cl dot c. We're gonna make a do a ld so we can make a dll file. Um, my lib dot c. I think that's all we need to do. Oh, uh, link Lua. Yeah, I need to link Lua as well. And, uh, you know, there's a few more things. Here. No, I think that's it. So let's try to at least here. just try printing hello yeah uh, make all right so I made the file now let's see. try the exe oh yeah duh I only made it uh, create a DLL well, anyways well let's just see how this goes um, Uh, I think that's what we'll need. So we're going to have to make boom. And we're going to have to do like some weird thing for making DLL files. Hang on. I don't remember how to do that. Um, here we go. I found it in another project. We just look at that again. So this will be our Lua function. So let's say Lua state L Wait, what? Oh. There you go. So all this function does is say hello, it's a Lua function. And then we're gonna need um stat. Actually, I'm going to copy this to... Actually, I think it's already saved in my register. Yep. So we're going to need static Lua L reg um, my lib 
Oh, we need a no terminator thingy, whatever you call that. Uh, hello, and then we're going to take this function. Hello. Uh, oh, there we go. I'll just do it that way. So that'll tell us which, um, so we're, this is just like a, an array of functions where now we only have one function. Now we're going to make this, this next function we're going to make is we'll call, um, will be called once you, uh, when you call require in Lua, this is going to be called Lua. Ah, open my lib and so it's lua open and then underscore and then the path in underscore so if it was my lib and then it was in the folder my lib you do my lib slash whatever so that means it'd be in the path my lib whatever dot dll but here it's just in the root directory so it would just be my lib dot dll um i don't know if that made a lot of sense but So let's do that. Then we're gonna have to return a library. So we turn one and Lua L new library L and then we're gonna have the my lib table or a array in there. And that should be all we need, I believe. Let's just see if this compiles real quick as a library in Windows. And it did. It did compile. Um, so let's go back to that. Just rearranging my Windows real quick here. Um, so it compiled. Let's uh, test it out in Lua. Touch test.lua. Whatever, lots of stuff. My local my lib equals wire. And this is going to look for the my lib DLL. So it's going to look for my lib DLL. Be back in one second. Just had to close my door. So let's try to call that function we called hello. Um, Uh, boom it called it and so right now it's just looking in the main directory for the dll file but if i actually just um removed my lib.dll from the root directory and i put it in the directory the the main directory for um where your executable executable is you can just do it that way too. So there, now I'm going to move it over here. So now I'm going to delete it from this directory. Let's show you that it's not in the root directory, but it's in the the executable for Lua it's directory, whatever you call that. I'll run it again and it'll still work. So, yep, that's how you uh, create C libraries for Lua.